Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add antifreeze to your brand new Polaris Razor Turbo. All right guys, so welcome back to the channel. Really appreciate you guys stopping by, spending some time out of your day to experience our brand new Razor Turbo. If you haven't seen the other videos, be sure to go down in the description, find links to uh, us doing things like installing that roof, fire extinguisher, and other little upgrades that we're doing along the way. So today, we're doing what the owner's manual suggests that you do right away after driving it for a couple hours. And that is adding antifreeze to a cold engine, by the way, because although brand new on the showroom floor, it may seem full, once you've run it in, that antifreeze has a chance to uh, get the air out of the system and it tends to go down. So always do this on a cold engine, follow the owner's manual, let's get started. Alright guys, this job is really easy. All it's going to take is uh, your two hands, some uh, antifreeze pre-mixed 50-50 of your choice, and uh, a nice clean funnel. Uh, I like to use one for antifreeze only, that way I have no chance of any cross-contamination. Uh, otherwise, make sure it's really clean. Now, the antifreeze reservoir resides under this hood or bonnet, as our uh, friends across the pond say. And uh, one thing of caution before you start yanking this thing off, there's a couple uh, slip joints right here that you need to slightly move forward or, you know, watch, watch my hand, this way. <laughs> and um, But before you do that, you can see these other two kind of friction um, plugs, so to speak. And you can see with this mold here, you can only go one way. So this is locked, okay? So what you wanna to do to unlock it is just turn it that way, okay? And the other one, do the same thing. Now it's unlocked. Now, what you wanna do is kinda of lift up slightly on the back jimmy it forward and there now you can see that little female i guess slip joint there and then inside on the front so you can say see it's kind of an uh, l-shaped and then for the friction clamps kind of looks like that and then uh, right there. Be sure to take care of that cover. Set it in a spot that the wind ain't gonna catch it and no birds will poop on it. Okay, so here's the reservoir. Now, I've made sure that the engine temperature is uh, below 100 degrees and uh, keys out of it, it's not on, and uh, parking brake is set, okay? Guys, I recommend you use uh, eye protection when doing this just in case there's some pressure in here and it blows back at you and gloves are optional always read the owner's manual guys so as you can see here you might barely be able to see it but there's a indicator here that says cold and then do that off to the side here and it says cold and full and then you have this little tab here it's about a half inch low now i've driven it a total of about an hour you know up and down our alley um, not very hard kind of breaking it in speed keeping it low and below 35 miles an hour and first time I get to the dirt I'll probably uh, put it in high and pick up some speed gradually um, it's all about breaking in that belt from what I understand so it's probably the most it's gonna settle I think but I'll keep a good eye on it but the first thing I want to do is obviously open up this cap there we go. Okay, I like to inspect the uh, O-ring and the rubber gasket there, make sure it's okay. And I'll just put that aside right there. So now all I got to do is just add enough to bring it up uh, just to the line or maybe a hair above it and then uh, run the engine for five minutes.
and then all you got to do is put that hood back on in reverse fashion make sure that both of those uh, grip locks are cinched down uh, correctly and you're good to go All right, guys, it couldn't have been easier than that. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. We really appreciate when you do. It doesn't cost you a thing. And we'll see you on the next one.